In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who, who led St. Martin de Porres by the path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A man gave a great dinner, to which he invited many. 
When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servant to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen, and am on my way to evaluate them. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have just married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master. Then the master of the house, in a rage, commanded his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town, and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servant reported, Sir, your orders have been carried out, and still there is room. The master then ordered the servant, Go out to the highways and hedgerows, and make people come in, and my home may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. The gospel of the Lord. <laughs> Celebrate a great saint of the new world today, St. Martin de Porres, uh, lived in the 16th and 17th century in, uh, in Peru. Lima, Peru, was also a friend of St. Rosa de Lima, who lived at the same time. Uh, when we look at his life, uh, it's really sort of a, uh, not a material, but sort of a spiritual rags to riches story. So he began, uh, his, his father was a, a Spaniard, and his mother was a local uh, black woman, uh, and so his father basically disowned them uh, when he was born. Uh, so he, he ended up joining the Dominican Order, uh, which unfortunately at the time, and to rather contrary to the, the mind of Christ and of the Church, where he was discriminated against again because of his, his skin color. Uh, but he persisted uh, in his charity, persisted in his vocation, uh, and he ended up really becoming rather a, a monumental figure in the Dominicans at the time there, coming in, advising the local bishop, becoming very well regarded. And so when we look at the, the example of his life, obviously when we take something as you know an injustice like, like racism or any of the injustices that, that we suffer, our model is, is always Christ. And what do we hear St. Paul writing about to the Philippians? It's like Christ himself and his human nature uh, didn't regard equality with God as something to be grasped, but emptied himself and, and took the form of a slave. Uh, and I think this is sort of one of the, uh, the hard teachings of the church to live. Uh, but is that when I experience, it's one thing to say that uh, I deserve something. So I, I do something wrong, there's consequences to it, and I can only sort of kick myself. Uh, but the question is, what do I do with those, those injustices that I don't deserve? Um, now, there's nothing to preclude whatever it is, looking for another job, staying away from another person. These are not bad things. Uh, we, we can do these things, but, but in the moment, uh, in the moment, the call to be like Christ uh, really is, is to humble ourselves, to love that person. Uh, St. Catherine of Siena, another great Dominican, uh, used to imagine that when she was going out to the hospitals to minister to people, uh, if they misspoke to her, if they were angry at her, anything like that, she would imagine that was Christ speaking to her through that person, uh, which is tough. Uh, that's really, really hard. I don't like any street. Uh, I'm sure most of you don't either. Uh, but that's that's the call, and, and growing in that patience and growing in that charity for those who act unjustly to us uh, is really the mark of that that configuration to Christ. Uh, and as we under, undergo those sufferings, as we undergo those injustices, uh, what does the Lord say in that verse from the Alleluia? He will give us rest when we labor and are burdened. Uh, and the, the consolations that he gives, the consolations of like St. Martin having St. Rose, of having good friends, uh, the consolations that come in prayer, the consolation of the little graces that he sends along the way, uh, are those things that, that enable us to go out uh, and even to those who treat us unjustly, uh, to go out and to, to imitate Christ, uh, that great model of 
cross is, of course, that, that great model of suffering and injustice, uh, which was not deserved. But because of that humility, because of that charity, because of those prayers on the cross for the people who were persecuting and crucifying him, uh, because of that, there, there was that resurrection, there was that change, uh, and ultimately there is that hope in any situation. Placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Martin, be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And grant that released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Most honor in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and glorious martyrs, with Saint Martin, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and John our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, the Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, Amen. take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us the sins. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we who are fortified by the power of the sacrament may learn through the example of Blessed Martin to seek you always above all things and to bear in this world the likeness of the new man, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, by forward our extraordinary minister of Holy Communion to the homebound. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, O Mary, conceived without sin, O Mary, conceived without sin, O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify my numberless miracles, Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign with God forever and ever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight. Two for a better, a more widely diffused belief, and the immaculate conception of your mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Lavare. Grant we beseech you that filled with white humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. Remember the most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy assistance, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of the Virgins, our Mother. To thee we come, before thee we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy clemency, fear and answer them. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our mortal souls and to the souls of the we pray. Which will attach us to God alone. 
so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his great glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed hope, where you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Rank of Heaven. May this method be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties for you. Ever while we are in, may we be blessed by your love and protection and preserved through the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, grace and a happy death, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin.